in this particular program what i am going to do is given a string something like this this is an example of a string what it's asking me to do is convert uppercase to lowercase letters and lowercase to uppercase letters that's what you mean by this vice versa if there are any other characters other than the uppercase or lowercase just ignore them so before i go ahead and try to do the coding i would like to explain to you the thinking behind doing this particular problem suppose i have a b and c as my input capital a small b and capital c the value of a is 65 the value of small b is 98 the value of capital c is 67 now if i want to make a to small a i just need to add 32 it becomes 97 and if i print using percentage c it will print as a small b ascii value is 98 if i subtract 32 it's going to be 66 which represents a capital b and if i have c capital c its ascii value is 67 if i add 32 to it it's going to be 99 and if i print using percent c it's going to print the small letter c so the difference between an uppercase and lowercase letters in ascii is 32 so if i add 32 to an uppercase letter it will become its corresponding lowercase letter if i subtract 32 from a lowercase character it will turn out to become an uppercase character using that particular logic i am going to go ahead and do this particular problem so i'm just going to define the size of the array as let's say 100 let's have a bigger size so that we can change the message and play around all right so first thing what i'm doing is i have a message called as welcome to graphic era let me change a few things make this as e i can make to as both capital so hopefully you will understand that these signs w will become small e should become small t and o should become small and whatever is in lowercase should become uppercase then this one two three dollar five star seven nothing should happen to them they should be printed as it is because the problem definition clearly states that convert an uppercase to lowercase and lowercase to uppercase and ignore any other characters so what i have done is i have defined a function called as transform where i am passing address of this particular string so when i say str the address of this particular string is passed to this function called as transform here what i'll do is let me define an integer variable i equal to zero so that this particular thing allows me to travel within the array so what i am going to do here is while okay str of i all right is not equal to null that means i have not reached the end of the string i am going to do the following activities so what i am doing is in the first case i am checking if okay i'll just do a little bit copy and paste so it saves me a little time all right if str of i okay is greater than or equal to capital a and if str of i is less than or equal to capital z that means that corresponding character happens to be between a and z then what i am going to do here is i am going to subtract 32 from that particular sorry i am going to add 32 to that particular character so that it becomes from uppercase to lowercase so initially i is zero so the zeroth character in my case is going to refer to w when i becomes one i am referring to e when i becomes two i am referring to l so you can simply think of this as an array of characters so i am adding 32 then there is also a possibility okay i am going to do a else if that this particular fellow okay may be lowercase characters so in place of a i'll substitute it with small a in place of z i'll substitute it with small z and then what i'm going to do here is instead of adding i would now be required to subtract 32 from it so that it ends up becoming an uppercase character so instead of addition i'm going to do a minus here and finally what i'm going to do here is i'm going to say else irrespective of anything else i'm doing nothing i'll just put an empty semicolon to show you that 
If it is any other character, I am doing nothing. Semicolon indicates an empty statement or a null statement. Just to increase the readability of the program, I have done it. So let me make it separate. So this is if, this is else. This should be else if, sorry, else if. So if I have capital A to capital between capital A and Z, I add 32. Between small a and z, I subtract 32. Else I do not do anything. Then the important thing is I need to increase the value of i by 1 so that I end up going to the next character. If I forget to do this, this will go into an endless or an infinite loop. So finally when this is done, I am going to go back into my main. In the main what I am doing is I am printing the transformed string using percentage s and str. So what is going to happen here is I am going to transform uppercase to lowercase, lowercase to uppercase, any other character I am just going to ignore. Now what we can do is we can take this particular piece of code and let's try to place it into our online GDB compiler so that we are able to test it out. So what I will do is let us try to compile it first and see if there are any errors. So thankfully there are no errors but let's try to see whether it has converted. Here W is capital it has become small. Alright let me increase the size so that you can tend to see it more clearly. W is small here whereas in the initial one it is capital E is small it has become capital. So all the way till this fellow COM everything has been converted into uppercase. Then this big E has become small e. TO was capital it has ended up becoming small. So this complete thing has changed and if you see 1, 2, 3, dollar, 5, star, 7, nothing has changed, it has not processed them. So to just explain to you how this particular process works, when i is 0, okay, when i is 0, I am looking at w. Since w happens to be uppercase, I am adding 32 to w. So what happens is w internally is represented with its ASCII value. Okay, and when I add 32, W ends up becoming from capital W to small w. The same thing happens with E. In E, I am not adding, I am going to, when I becomes 1, I am subtracting 32 from E because the difference between uppercase and lowercase characters is 32. So I hope you are able to understand how we took a program and converted it from, con sorry, how we took a program and given an input string, how we flipped or converted the case of the alphabets between A to Z.